59 minutes at the tone. Oh, boy. Please leave a message after this fart. <laughs> yuck, 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 And with that, let's get into it. Get into more candle making. No, we're done with candle making. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We have a natural knack for it. Except, Except know, the one feedback we got was negative, and that hurts my Well, feelings. but according to Beth, yeah, everybody else was very, very That's happy true. with the candles. Yeah. That is good news indeed. That is good news. I believe news. they will have supper set very soon. We should get ready. Set? Great idea. I'm famished. Walking all over and... Wait, who's they? The has definitely improved the servants? Appetite. Oh, okay. I'm Probably. like, uh, there's no one else around. The, the cook. <laughs> ordinary is excellent. I rarely enjoyed our supper. Oh, okay. Indeed. If I stayed here very long, I would gain ten pounds. What the fuck is an ordinary? Are they in, like, a hotel right now? No, the now? place is called the Ingersoll Ordinary. Yes, I think it's a town, uh, like a, a boarding house. Oh, or, yeah, or okay. Be welcome. I'm not sure I would be the best company. I think I will just remain here. Yeah, you're too busy worrying. Where you want? Well, it's funny because there's like the Ingersoll Clinic here, which is like super big and famous, uh -huh. right? Like uh -huh. it's the Ingersoll. That's settled. I know just the spot. I know just the spot. There was mushrooms that we could totally snack on. Maybe the blue boar will make an appearance. Mm -hmm. And the ghost. Yes. All right. Uh, yeah, let's talk with this them. This way. Follow yep. me. All right. F follow. Yeah, follow come on. Follow Jane. Okay. Uh, I, I guess we're just going to walk through the creepy dark night times. Traveling. Traveling. We've done oh, it. We've got, we've got to the clade. Ah, oh, we are in luck. What are we supposed to see? If we watch these buds for just a bit, they could have a surprise in store for us. Oh, if this I is one of these. I have a cousin who returned from India this spring and showed me some sketches of this plant. He said that it is called a detour or moonflower and has been used for over 5,000 years for its medicinal properties. But you have to Jane's totally powerful. a witch. She's making it candles. She mm -hmm. has like medicinal because properties and stuff. for both good and bad, they have placed it in the category of witch's weeds. I think we are about to be rewarded for our Jane. Oh, beautiful. Nothing you fucking idiot. I can see how they get their name. That is so special. Yeah. They have a charming fragrance also. See what you think. Yes, I noticed that right off. The fragrance is supposed to instill you with both confidence. I have to and say the the writers making one character named Jane and one character named Janie. Thank you yeah. so much. Probably not the best here. decision. I feel mm -hmm. much better than I did this afternoon. There is one more thing, while there is still some magic in the air, that I would like to show you. How exciting. Okay. It's a stick. <gasps> oh, I was right. This looked like the perfect spot to find fox Fox, fire. yeah, like it what, Jane? That. Jesus it's Christ, Jane. It grows on decaying wood. It is bright enough to read by its light. We are fortunate. Sometimes it glows only but dimly. If I put these two halves back together, it should be convenient to carry, and I think this may be just what we need before too long. I suppose we should yes. get back, as it is starting to get cloudy again. We're just gonna keep this fucking branch in our pocket oh, until look, we need I some sort of lantern. Let me see. Perhaps a wand. Oh. That glows. Some like wizarding world <laughs> shit here. Oh, it's an owl. Yeah, you know, just befriending an owl. Yeah, like no big. Just, just girls being girls. We're, we're out doing How very do obviously do witchy things, <laughs> right? It's that the women in our family can sometimes help an animal if it's injured. Oh my god! Which is one of the reasons that my grandmother has been accused of being a witch. In fact, this is the first time since all this started I've had the confidence to actually help in this way. Yeah. It does. Seem just that gals being pals. Reject, but they don't understand. Or things that are special. Oh that hell yeah! So they true. sneaking out the into the woods late at night. Are the ones most likely to turn on you when it serves their purpose. Gals being pals. While others remain silent for fear of being persecuted themselves. All single women don't have any need for men late. in their lives. Mm -hmm. We should be getting back, as I'm hoping that grandfather will have returned. Okay. Yeah, we'll, we'll go back. We'll see the boar though, maybe. Maybe. The ordinary looks rather ominous tonight. Ah! Oh. Amazing how your perception can change with the right lighting. Yeah. Hmm. Amazing. I'm going to look in on Grandfather and see what news he has. Yes. Yes. It's yes. been a long day. Speaking of looking, I'll go and see if there's any word from Samuel. 
Have a good night. I will see, see you in the morning. Who the fuck is Samuel? Night, right. Thank you for such an enchanted evening, Jane. And have a good night. Okay. I uh, guess we're going upstairs. Yep, we're gonna go sleep. Now that everything is settled down, there's no better time oh, than never mind. the poor ones. Uh. <laughs> I can sneak up to that window in the room where they are holding Mrs. Bradbury. I really need to talk to her tonight. Okay. Uh. Okay, so we're gonna sneak out our window or something. Not that one. Not that one. The other one. Where there's a tree. Oh, yeah. I think I will read oh, a note. tomorrow first thing in the morning. I am too tired to appreciate it tonight. Okay. Okay. Maybe we're not going to sneak out. Maybe we're going to oh, go out. Maybe, the, we're, just maybe go out we're just going to go out the door that we just came in from. Yeah, there we, we go. Better change into something that oh, is oh <laughs> we've got to we've got to put on our witch's clothes. Yeah, before we go I sneak see, out at I night. I see. I see. Yes, makes makes sense. With our wand. God, no wonder everybody thinks that we're fucking witches or Just whatever. Right. Uh, should we put the okay? No, the bonnet's the, white. The bonnet, yeah. Like, shouldn't we not have the bonnet? I think we took the bonnet off. No, we're wearing one. It was still. Oh really? I had better oh. change into something that blends. Ah, uh, take off the bonnet. To be spotted this evening. Okay. I guess. I thought I put on the right outfit. I thought you did too. The perfect cotton. Oh, oh, that was me taking the first one I off. I see. In the dark. I'll hang my regular cloak by the door. Oh, we just grabbed like a very dark cloak. Now I just need something to light it. Oh, and now we've got a lantern too. Wait, we've got to find a, a match. Do you have a book of matches somewhere? Do matches exist in 1860? I don't or know. 16? Oh, there we go. Got it. Just keep that in our pocket. There we okay. go. Perfect. Got it. Done. We're the masters of our destiny. Creek. Mm-hmm. Creek. Mm-hmm. Creek. So if we were trying to be sneaky, a lantern's probably not the right way to do yeah, it. Yeah, no. Creek. Creek. Where the fuck is the door? There? Oh, wait, that's where I came in. Maybe. No, oh, yep. No fuck. Mind. Creek. There it is. Thar she blows. All right. Creek. Oh god, we're gonna see something spooky. Creek. 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 Fuck. Let us know if we need to turn the brightness of this game up, y'all, because we can't I, I fucking think see. I do. Yeah. Where's our where's our bud? Where's our horsey friend? This is the groom's chamber. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, we Leave shouldn't, him alone. We shouldn't mess with that dude. Oh, there they are. There is there he is. He's beautiful. How do you feel about a midnight ride, Runner? Yeah. Uh, yeah, let's go get it. Right, but you're going to have to be as quiet as a mouse. Are we going to do this bareback? I need to saddle. Oh, no, we, we need do to have a saddle. saddle. Okay, no, we need the saddle, not the chariot yeah. this time. God damn it, Jane. <sighs> let's take yeah, the saddle. That thing. Yes, please. No, we can't use that one, I guess. We've got to use the black one so that we can blend in with the night. <laughs> with, our to with our lantern. Uh-huh. With the night. There we go. No. Okay. Or that. Got it. That's that's the bridle. No. No. Maybe we've got to put the bridle on first. And then put on the saddle. So stupid. Well, like... They gotta squeeze as much gameplay into this game as possible. I also need the saddle. Ah, uh, oh. gotta get the black saddle too. There's only one saddle. No, though. there's the saddle in the box. Remember? Oh, that's right. Yeah, and I it's, kept it's thinking it's that black. we needed it, and uh -huh. we didn't. Yep. It's locked. The groom here at the ordinary must have locked it. Oh Perhaps shit! I can slip into his room at the back of the barn and oh. find the key. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. Let's just break into his some some dude's room while he's fucking sleeping, probably. Even though we didn't want to go in there a second ago. Uh huh. And where the fuck is it? There. Yes, right in front of us. Perfect. I need something to unlatch it. Well, mm -hmm. let's grab my lock pick. God. <laughs> Beautiful. Oh. Oh, he's so sleepy. No key here. Nope, just some alcohol. Nope. No key I, here. I literally can't see. Me neither. 
no key here. Underneath this? No nothing key here. here. Nothing here. Nothing here. Nothing okay, here. Okay, nothing anywhere. Nothing here. Nothing here. Here. What's that? Oh. Uh. Uh, oh, oh, the bottom one. Really? Yeah. I think yeah. I, I think she can pull that off. Trunk in the tag room earlier today, but the trunk is locked now, and I was looking for someone to help me find my brooch. Well, here, take the key and look. Oh at my the gosh! Okay. Content. Just slide the key under my door when you are done, and don't wake me again. Thank you so much. I will be careful not to wake you again. Wow, she pulled that off. Good job, Jane. Wow. Oh, that's the room she Okay, I'm already outside. Yep. I mean, obviously. <sighs> Thanks, Groom, for thinking that we're just like, I don't know, a child. Yeah. That doesn't doesn't know what we're doing. Tis locked. Tis we locked. know, Jane. Let's okay. do it. Wait, do we need the other part, too? Uh, I don't know. No, it's a uh, saddle. No, there it is. Yeah, it's beautiful. All right, let's, let's do it. Come here, runner. Midnight runner. There we go. Put it on. Hell yeah. Put it on. Hell yeah. Strap it. Hello, runner. No time like the present. Yeah. Let's no ride. time like the present. Let's fucking buckle up. Oh, go, Fog. Let's go. Yes, Fog. Fog is like prime ghost time. Oh, hell yeah. Pigs sleep at night, so we probably won't see the pig. Mm hmm. Wow. We're riding really far at night as a fucking child in oh, 1692. Oh, got to the bridge and something happened. <gasps> oh, the owl it's showed the owl. back up. Aren't you the owl that hey, you buddy. helped this evening? Are you trying to tell me something? Come on, Rana. Let's walk over here after the way for a spell. While I Don't say that word out loud. Do. Jeez, Jane. Jane! You cover! <gasps> oh. Horseman rides by. Wonder who that could have been. Oh fuck. Thank you so much for the warning, Mr. Owl. I certainly don't want to get caught out this evening. You're an excellent lookout. What would I Damn. do without your warning? Wonder if Jane already got her letter to Hogwarts. Yeah, right? <laughs> Let's go, runner. Let's go, runner. The charming our charming feathered conspirator mm. that we totally oh, okay. didn't magic to help us. No, not at all. Uh uh. Nope. Nope. Uh, okay. Yep. Wait here, Rana. I won't be long. Yeah, nope, he'll, he'll, he'll hang won't out. be long. And he'll be quiet as a mouse. Yeah, the window. Mrs. Bradbury. Russell. Mrs. Bradbury, this is a friend. Hello? Who's there? Oh my god, be quiet. Yeah, shut the fuck up. <gasps> Come with me, I have something to show you. Do I have mm. a choice? Not really. Now get going. Mm. <laughs> that mm. voice actor is the same voice actor for the the villain in the last one. Oh, seriously? Yeah. <gasps> where is she taking her? I don't where, know. where are they taking her? I mean, I like the lady's answer. Do I have a choice? There's some way I could hear what they were saying. Stand on the bucket. They were only away. Stand on. Oh. Stand on the wall. No, we just have to like. Make ourselves like a little thing to stand on. I guess so. Oh. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, sure. All right. Uh. Whoa! Oh. Ha! Ah. That didn't work. Another chance. Oh, okay. Uh. Oh. Bucket. Okay. Nope. Well, nope. There we go. There, and then that. Uh huh. Oh, maybe I have to balance it better. Nah, oh. it's gonna snap to wherever it goes. If maybe that's it. Let's You're probably there we go. wondering yeah. why I brought you here. Uh, I am past wondering at any action. Oh you take. snap! I have sent that's my a good family one. to Boston, so there will be no chance of a witness to what I am about to tell you. After what you have said in court, I cannot imagine there is anything left you could say that would be a <laughs> Hell yeah! That lady's good at this. mistaken. I can assure you that what I'm about to say will be of particular interest to both you and your family. <laughs> <laughs> Nevertheless, it has come to this. 
You have seen the accusations, the indictments, and the trials flowing from those events, all occurring since the beginning of this year. Has I'm not sure what time of year really matters. Like yeah. Just saying. Time. There has been a certain desperation in the proceedings that has not escaped me, nor your part in it. Indeed, we have had accusations of witchcraft ever since coming to this new world, but it has never played out in this way. To be perfectly frank, there are those of us who saw this coming over a year ago. There are forces at work forces here shaping our destiny, and they have little to do with <laughs> the wonders of the invisible world. And what okay. might those be? It comes to this. You can either manage your fate or become the victim of it. My family has always chosen the former. For centuries we have controlled power, acting as the Knights of the Shire in Cumberland, and we intend so to do the same LARP in group? England. Yep. Time will tell. This is a new beginning. But, in this case, an old hmm. result. With Hawthorne and I as judges, and my nephew George as High Sheriff, we have assisted and in some cases instigated the events which have brought you to this moment. You are witness to what has befallen those who proceed. Why are so you there telling can be no this? doubt mm -hmm. as to the seriousness of your predicament. You have said nothing that is not already familiar to me. Did it not strike you as odd that you should be ensnared in these proceedings when the charge against you is an old one and you live in so remote a district as Salisbury? Again, you are <laughs> only saying what is obvious. Let's be blunt then. I have managed all of this hysteria uh, and these okay. trials for one end, and that is to place before you and your husband an inescapable decision. And what decision is that? A decision which might be made easier for you if you understand the circumstances. While it is not generally known, England no longer has trees of sufficient size to construct the masts required by our warships and heavy trading vessels. The Danes were supplying those trees, but to thwart our naval power cut off the supply 40 years ago. Since then, England has relied on the shipment of those trees from here in New England. New to England. This resource, mm. The crown is now requiring that all trees 24 inches in diameter and larger and not on private property be marked explicitly as belonging to the crown. Which brings us to you. How is that possible? Quite simply. Hawthorne and I have a large sawmill in Maine, which has made us a fortune supplying those trees to the crown. However, with this change in state, this blackmail or extortion? All the large trees Both? Have been cut down, <laughs> is an extortion just like blackmail for money? I guess. I thought all blackmail was money. Brother, I don't know. Maybe it's the other way around. Maybe blackmail is for money, and extortion is getting you to do other things. Success mm. relies on procuring a source of trees from private lands near the coast. Now, so you're stealing you my trees by accusing me of witchcraft, I guess. So that's what this is all about. Sheer, unadulterated greed. It has nothing to do with greed. It is all about maintaining the structure of our society and our place in it. So greed. To that yeah. End, I have a document like here that I would like to show you. It's an agreement that you give me all of your trees. Do you know what this is? I'm not certain. This is the grant of land to your husband Thomas, made when he was acting as land agent for his great uncle Ferdinando Gorgias. As you might recall, Gorgias had the land patent for the province of Maine. Okay. So, that's what this is all about. Precisely. Your husband's land grant in Maine is now worth a king's ransom, this year and for many years to come. And of plan course, it to is critical have it. to England. My family is more into me personally. <laughs> what a lot of stupid it. bullshit. How did you right? get that document? I want your My trees. <laughs> if you don't give me your trees, I will murder you. Boston. Basically. My God, is there no one not involved in this? Very few in positions of influence. Thomas Danforth. Thomas Danforth who stands against us. He was once lieutenant governor, but no more. That position has also been taken by Stoughton. Mm. Governor Phipps might oppose us, but he is busy fighting the French and Indians in Maine, and consequently protecting the land which will soon be mine. Why is he even explaining you all this? Yeah. Send the passions of this hysteria, and let good men and women go to their deaths, all to maintain the status of yourself and your cohorts. I see you understand. 
but let us not lay aside the service we perform for our country. Oh, what a lord of uh, Which country? <laughs> to bring you up to date, your husband has submitted a petition signed by quite a number of your neighbors attesting to your good character. As if that mattered. Quite, quite a charming, a charming effort, effort. In fact, he is coming again on the 21st with an update to that petition. But I have an offer waiting for him, which I think All of our two accept. precious trees. Mm, yes. I will One never touch a tree again. For a few trees. Your husband will be faced with a rather stark choice of signing over his land grant to me or watching you proceed to the gallows. And what if he refuses? I will explain to him it will make little difference. He will discover that the day a after wizard. your execution, he will be accused of being a wizard himself and brought before my court. The result of that trial is a foregone conclusion. You could say his grave is already So there's dug. nothing in it for him, literally. Uh -huh. Do you not see? With you and your husband deceased, it is a simple matter to forge his signature on this document, and the end is the same. This is a choice with no choice. I mm -hmm. see you understand. Oh boy. I will have you brought here when your husband arrives with his petition. At that the, time, the robots yeah. don't like that it's a choice with no choice. Robots <laughs> all about uh, with your free will. <laughs> see your family safely in bed, or proceed down a more. But see, there's no course. guarantee that he wouldn't just May do God the thing anyway. Right. So, I am certain that he will. In all instances, I have acted in the best interests of preserving society as we know it. Yeah, what a and load of bullshit! Right? It is all so very easy. On the one hand, I accept the petition your husband brings me and offer you clemency. On the other hand, I don't. And now to return you to your confinement. Why well, I'm sure. <gasps> and now we're gonna have, have to go run and hide. Consider. Run, Jane, run! Okay, back at the window. Mrs. Bradbury. Mrs. Bradbury. Yes. Who is there? Who is there? Just overheard what you were told. That is a comfort. I had almost begun to think I had imagined God, it. God, it looks so fucking ass creepy. <laughs> there is little we can do with so many men of influence. So many men of influence involved in this, but I may have a solution. Is really? that possible? Okay, we're telling her to get ready. Is that you mm -hmm. must be prepared the night after tomorrow for whatever may occur. You, you care, like, to you for fucking clue us, clue us us in on this plan, Nah, Jane? we're making shit up as we go. It is my plan to bring more than hope in two nights. So ready yourself, and I will return. Until then, take care. Okay. All right. If, if you're ready to be filled with hope by a small child <laughs> who has yet to tell us nothing but we have a brand we have a magic wand we so do we have a very we've got a very good branch uh so join us next time for more yep. miss clue colon trials in salem colon the fucking of salem <laughs> colon we have a shiny letter to branch. hogwarts yeah colon <laughs> colon jane's letter to hogwarts uh yeah if you if you like this video hit the subscribe button and uh, check out our Patreon in the end card in the description. <laughs> Neither of us are Tony. Anyway, yeah. thanks, y'all. Thanks. Bye. See ya.